Hey YouTube. What's up guys? We're back again. You got the old yeah, I know. Sorry. I got my favorite hat on. Jeff Gordon, 1993 hat. Rainbow Warrior. Yep. That's where it's at. Um, Tonight we're doing a little... On this one we're going to do a little bit of chewing tobacco. Chow. And we got us some Red Man Golden Blend. Very good stuff. Mm -hmm. Better than the original if you ask me. I got this for four sixty nine plus tax. Um, yeah, in our eight, last eight. video, on our last video, I showed you guys the Lancaster. It's not up yet. Um, I showed you guys Lancaster chewing tobacco and how small their warning label is. You can't even see it from there. You gotta get right up on that some bitch. Right there. That's it. This yeah. one. This one, plain as day back here. You can probably see it still. You can be blind. Big blind white warning tobacco at the bottom warning label. It's crazy how it's like that. Um, yep. But anyway, we're not doing like story in nope. the future, but that was a pretty we're good. We're doing uh, Red Man, which is uh, Red Man Golden Blend, which Red Man was made, started making in 1904, uh, like mass production. But I think they came up with the recipe for it in, like, in uh, 1887, is what I read on the internet. But that was the original Red Man. This is Golden Blend. I could I couldn't find when they actually started making this, or when they released the Golden Blend. I found on. I guarantee it was after 1965, though. Yeah. I found on Redman's website that the first mass-produced and distributed pouches were in Toledo, Ohio, and they grew it in Zanesville or something like that. I don't know. They said something about Zanesville, something about Toledo. Well, uh, this is at least 65% domestic-grown tobacco, and it's made in Owensboro, Kentucky, which is not too far from where we are. Yep. Oh, yeah. And they got that zip press. They got yeah, zip lock, which it's like it's absolutely stupid if some chew does not have this. Lancaster don't have it. But Lancaster's got that foily plastic that you yeah, can roll you over. Yeah, you could kind of fold that real good though. Um, but still, I think they should still have this because this is really handy. Yeah. Well, let's get us some of this. That flavor fresh. Let's get us some chaw. Let me get you a little bit there. And you're messy. <laughs> Um, when it first hits your tongue, you get a little bit of a saltiness. Huh? I said when you first hit your tongue, when it first hits your tongue, you get a little bit of saltiness. But oh, I didn't get it. No, I just got grapes. I love this stuff. It gives um, you quite a bit of spit. I don't think they have any dates on this, really. I mean, they got, uh, they got J06201, or 2C1. I've never noticed that. I'm guessing it's like July 6th, but when it goes bad or something like that. When you first kind of, you kind of, you kind of get the Red Main original flavor just a little bit, but just a little bit more of a sweeter taste, which I think they were going for like a Levi Garrett kind of taste with this. Mm -hmm. It also has a higher nicotine level than regular Red Main. I don't know why. But pretty good too. Now, uh, this this costs four dollars and sixty nine cents plus tax. It's probably about this is one of the best. Red Man is probably the most Red Man and Levi Garrett and Beach Nut are uh, the most expensive ones. The Pinkerton Pinkerington Tobacco Company makes um, makes Red Man. They make Southern Pride and they make JD's Blend. Which uh, JD's and JD's blend and um, Southern Pride are like the cheap versions. 
Yeah. Southern Pride's like a it's like a cheap uh, Levi Garrett. Actually, it tastes very. It tastes almost exactly like Levi Garrett, but uh, got a lot more stems. Speaking of stems. Oh uh, yeah, I've never had. Uh, I've never had the uh, JD's blend, but everybody says it's really good. It's a real different taste. And it's real cheap. Um, Red Man, I'm sure it's just like old chews. When you uh, you really chew it, and you get that tobacco flavor and all that goodness, your spit looks like road tar. You could spit on pavement and no one would know. I mean, I was, I was just showing how black the spit was, but it's uh, pretty good stuff. It's got a real nice original looking bag, you know, other than the stupid ass. Warning label. warning label. If you see a picture without the warning label, it's like the most badass looking bag of cheap. But then they had to put the warning label in it. Lancaster didn't, they don't care. I think Lancaster is like the honey badgers. This is it I read on the red man side it's supposed to be a milder tasting red man. But it's got more nicotine though. Yeah. And it's sweeter, so that's probably where the mild comes from is the uh the you, sweetness. If you wanted to chew red mean but you don't like the red main taste, then this is probably pretty good. Got a little bit of the red main flavor, but just a little sweeter. Yeah, I don't like red main original a whole lot. It's a lot of people don't. I mean, well, I think a lot of people do, but I think a lot of people kind of like Levi Garrett because it's sweeter. Yeah. And I think this is a pretty good one. If you think that red main just needs to be a little bit sweeter, this is probably perfect for you. I think what we need to do, or maybe beach nut or Levi Garrett. We need to get like. See, there's Beach Nut, Levi, Lancaster, Stover's, Red Man. What other chews are there? Main chews. A lot. Main chews, like the ones we name off all the time. Five to six. We need to get five to six good sensory, I don't know how to explain this, like people that can taste real good, people that dab, people that chew. We'll line them all up. Each one gets their own different chew. And we'll compare them. I think that's a good idea. Um, probably next week I'm going to pick up Beach Nut back in Logan and we'll do a video on that. I like Beach Nut. One I really want to try but they don't sell it in uh, little bags and I don't want to pay uh, $10 for a big bag so Stoker's has got, they got a couple different flavors I really want to try. One's uh, Tennessee Chew, I actually do think they got that in a little bag, I might pick it up sometime. But I think Fred's Choice is the one I've always wanted to get because it's supposed to have a little bit of a vanilla flavor to it. Stoker's Fred's Choice or Fred's Choice? No. It's Stoker's Fred's Choice. No, oh, it's Fred's Stoker. Um, it's, uh, it's all around good. It's got a great flavor. It's sweet. A little bit of a bite. Um, it's a, it's a really good chew. It's um, if I don't, if you don't want to pay that much for it, I don't know. I'd, if you don't want to pay that much for it, I'd go down to Southern Pride. Southern Pride's probably got a similar flavor because this is kind of a Levi Garrett flavor, uh, which Southern Pride's supposed to be like, just a little bit of a cheaper, cheaper Levi. You can get that for like two cents a bag. Yeah, pretty good stuff. Yep. Uh, Cajun Tiger 616, he did a, it was a long time ago, uh, he did one on Southern Pride. Makes me want to try it. I had a pack of it left in my bed. You're going to have to get that shit. Yeah. Um, but yeah, pretty good. 30 seconds. Uh, well, we'll give it a rating, let's see. Out of all the shoes I had, I'm going to give this a 7. A seven. I'll probably give a seven. All around good. Um, so yeah, we're giving Red Man Golden Blend. The Go Down Blend. We're giving that seven out of ten. Both of us. Both of us. Yep. Pretty good stuff. Well, we're gonna wrap this up. Yep. Keep we'll dipping, guys. Easy.